Y'all, we came through that wall. I don't know if you can see somebody sitting, but we like came from the other side and hopped down and on the rocks. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then these, like, <laughs> It's kind of cute. <laughs> They're like little cactuses. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even see them. Yeah, I'm gonna. We stayed there. Thank you. <laughs> I love all these little restaurants and cafes out here. I can and you? Uh, I've never slept on a boat, but just like okay. the way. Can you see like the whole road? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's a bit, a bit faded, but it looks really, really nice. Honey, guess who just went hiking? Okay, I'm so glad I have my boots with me. My hands were shaky. <laughs> I went with my hostel group. I'm so happy. Like I woke up and I heard somebody say hike and I woke up at the perfect time and I got to join real quick. So I got to go see the fortress. There's totally not a free way that you should look into if you're trying to go. Totally do not do that. Okay, people I met was super cool. One guy unfortunately sick. They were joking, they're like, your patient zero. The other girl is from my, it was a big group. The other girl is actually from my same state. And we was talking about the same thing. And we were talking about how like, just the mentality of not traveling and just being at home is so different. She was saying like, there's not much for her to go back to. And I was like, mm, I've been struggling to buy my ticket home. So that might be relevant. Right now I'm at the grocery store. I'm getting some stuff cause it might rain tomorrow. So I'm with one of my hostel mates. Which is crazy because that bathroom system is so shitty. <laughs> Not literally, but like tell me why he was in the shower yesterday and it opens right up to the toilet and I almost locked myself in to use the bathroom because I didn't realize he was there because the water was off and he would have opened the shower and I would have just been in there like, y'all. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so I am here at the Aroma. I feel like I've seen everything in Coder, Tavat. I got my own little place with a pool. I'm excited, it's gonna be really fun. But yeah, it's been a good vibe. It's been a really, really good vibe so far. I'm so glad I met everybody. They was nice enough to like wait five minutes. I woke up and he was like, oh, a hike. I was trying to do that. It was the whole hostel almost. It felt like it. But yeah, there's one guy who's 19. He's been working at Chick-fil-A for a minute, saved up all his money. And now he's about to open a glamping thing in Tennessee. Like if you have a dream young, go for it. Honey, hustle. If you know what you want to do young, go for it. Seriously, like pursue your passion with no mercy. But yeah i'm so happy i caught them i woke up i was like hike i was like there's only one place everybody's been hiking and your girl got it no hair on nothing nothing there's also a lady up there that sells snacks and a guy who makes tea like we in the mountains but they was hustling honey if they can make it up there to hustle so they snatch the stuff you can't too there was one point we had to go through this window and i'm tall so it wasn't too far but like he had helped us down one of the guys from the hostel we went to go explore the church I did scrape my elbow, but it's all good. And the other girl got bed bug bites at, I forgot where she said she was, but I'm a little nervous cause her arms were eating up. So I hope that's not Paris for me. She got bit pretty bad, but yeah, it was pretty cool. It was really nice exploring and stuff. I had a good time. It was a really, man, this is why I love hostels. This is what I needed. I feel very alive. I feel very refreshed today. And I've been torn on going back home. I am gonna go home. I need to change and do some stuff and Europe's getting colder. But I think we're not gonna talk about it. I think we're not gonna talk about it. That's exactly what we're going through. I don't know, it's just so much to see out here and I don't feel an attachment with home. She said the same thing. So it was crazy to meet somebody from my same state randomly in Montenegro having the same feelings of like just not feeling home outside of like family and select friends. I'm like my family's dog, but yeah. I'm waiting for my roomie now. And we're gonna head back and shower and edit. I finished a whole bottle, a whole 1.5 bottle. Oh wait, you know what? Hold on y'all, I'm about to go get another one.
All right, y'all, we good. I feel like I'm out here window shopping the world to figure out what I want to do with myself. I'm glad you said something because I woke up and I was like, okay, I'm covered in bites and I just, please don't be like this, please don't be like this, please don't be like this. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. I was like, uh-uh. So then I was like, okay, well, they're not like cluster spread, so I was yeah. like, I think they're mosquitoes. Yeah. I'm like, well, that still sucks. That's just, I think I'm pretty sure that's just one bite. Yeah. Because I'm not, there's only one place that's really OC. And that's crazy because I haven't seen any mosquitoes somewhere. Yet. No, and I've never seen it. I haven't seen any the whole time I've been in Europe. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. I, 